Okay, so this question is saying that we need to work out what is a possible new size for this damaged pipe here. So what we're going to do to begin with is work out what is the max flow for source 2 to outlet 2 and then see what possible pathway, pathways are left if we then treated the damaged pipe as the source. So but to start with, we'll ignore the damaged pipe altogether. So using our alternative method, we'll just work our way through with the pathways. So from source 2, if we go across the top, our smallest value there is 100. So subtract 100 from each of those values. And then a second pathway through, we could go through the middle. So across the 3, 5, 4 and down. And our smallest value there is 300. So subtract 300 from each of those. 100 there, 200 and 0. And then finally, across the bottom pathway, that's all we've got left. And our smallest value there is 100. So subtract those, and we're left with 200. Now you can see that there are a couple of paths that, um, or edges, sorry, that haven't even been touched. And we also have some possible pathways if we now look at the damaged pipe as our um, source or our starting point. So let's just have a quick look and see what uh, possible paths do we have there. So coming down this edge, we could go across the top. Now we don't know what the value of the pipe is, so we just ignore it basically. But we can see the smallest value um, on the path that we just traveled, 100. So we just continue our same method, subtract 100 from everything there. And then secondly, we could come down the damaged pipe across this 300, there, down, and across the bottom. And our biggest value, uh, sorry, our smallest value on that path, 200. So let's subtract 200. This is 1, 0, 100. And now we have no um, other pathways from damaged pipe as our start point through to outlet 2. So we know we've done enough there and we're finished. Now how this is helpful, these values that we managed to come up with for the pathway using damaged pipe as our starting point gives us what the value of the damaged pipe should be. So that edge there should be 200. If it was any bigger than that, um, it would actually, sorry, it should be 300. Um, if it was any bigger than that, it would be a waste because we know that coming off the end of that pipe, we can only fit through a maximum of another 300 um, kilolitres. So it's a waste to make it any bigger, so let's just make it 300. And that then means that overall, added all together, we have um, a total maximum flow of 800. So looking at the question, the new pipe to enable the greatest possible rate of flow so to enable that 800 to get through, the minimum rate of the damaged pipe must now be 300. Um, there's another way of looking at it using max cuts um, to get your min flow, but I think if you're happy with this method as the way of getting your maximum flow, then this hopefully will make a bit more sense to you.